Hi, my name's Wade Stiller. I'm a naturopath here in Queensland, Australia, and we're going to be doing a series of vignettes on molecular hydrogen, because this is the molecular hydrogen revolution. Hello Internet and welcome to the Molecular Hydrogen Revolution. We're speaking today with Dr. Ellen App Thomas. Welcome. Thank you, Wade. And uh, today we're going to be talking about athletic performance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, now, Dr. Ellen, when we spoke earlier about uh, energy production, mm -hmm. you did mention athletic performance as part of uh, the benefits that molecular hydrogen can uh, give us. Mm -hmm. um, now, are there any extra benefits uh, for you know daily life that we can expect from molecular hydrogen? Okay. Um, I think um, it's worth repeating that every time we create energy, we actually create free radicals. So every time we create energy, we damage ourselves as well. So that becomes very important, not only in our day-to-day -day energy production, where we're just you know shopping and doing our work and looking after the kids, yes. uh, but becomes even more important if the energy that we're producing is at a level of intensity that is required when we're very stressed or when we're athletes wanting to push our body to the absolute maximum. So we know that if athletes push themselves too hard and they're producing more free radicals or more oxidative stress than their body can neutralise, then they actually start damaging their mitochondria, they actually start damaging the way their bodies create energy and they can end up with problems with their immune system and, and they can actually burn out. Yes. So what we want for an athlete is to make that energy production as efficient as possible and to also be as least damaging as possible, but also to recover as quickly as possible from their training. Yes, so that their bodies can get yeah, stronger and, and um, better at, at their sport. Fantastic. So molecular hydrogen won't give us bigger muscles? No, no. Sorry, <laughs> Wade. Well, no, it's... It is good though. I had to ask. <laughs> um, so the way molecular hydrogen works for athletes yes. is that um, because of its small size, it's able to cross through our cell membranes and actually get into the mitochondria, which is where we're producing our cell energy for our training. So because it crosses over into the mitochondria, it not only helps the mitochondria produce energy more efficiently, but then can mop up the damage that is produced when the, mitochond when the mitochondria produce energy themselves. So it, it pulls the athletes out of that vicious cycle of damage every time they're training. Yes. So the other thing we know is that um, when we push our muscles very hard, we can have an inflammatory damage being done to the muscles and to the tendons. So you can get a lot of post-training soreness. Um, and we find that people that take molecular hydrogen don't get as sore after they've, they've done their training. Oh, fantastic. Um, they did some studies and research on athletes on molecular hydrogen, and what they found was that when athletes are training and they're taking molecular hydrogen, that they don't have as high a buildup of lactic acid in their body, oh. and that their bicarbonate levels stay higher, so they're not getting as much of an acidic response to the training. Um, they found that some of the... Um, the measurable urine metabolites that measure DNA damage were reduced by 20% for the wow. athletes that took molecular hydrogen while they were training. Mm -hmm. um, and they showed that there was um, an improvement in muscle strength uh, by measuring muscle torque with iso isotonic exercise. So molecular hydrogen has certainly been shown to have a lot of very good benefits for athletes. Wonderful, so not just for chronically ill people but certainly elite athletes as well. Absolutely. It certainly seems to have a lot of varied uses. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks, Wayne.